What's up guys, Gibbs and welcome back to Pro Cycling Matter 2023 for the start of a series I did not think I would do. But we are here for the first episode of season one of Pro Cyclist. Now I'm going to be extremely honest, there will most likely only be one season of that save for good reasons. Uh, this is just a filler so that I can wait for the world to be, to be released so I can start my career mode. Um, so... Yeah, uh, I've got a real GB, like, w just real names. Uh, we've gone to Nice. Uh, I am a climber, forward slash sprinter. And yeah, also I figured this was a good way to showcase the pro cyclist mode. I haven't done anything on it in a really long time. So uh, for those who are wondering whether to buy the game or not, and are eager to play pro cyclist, this is your chance. Already we have a choice that we never had to make, um, which is our wind preparation and how it went. Uh, I'd say, fuck it, it went, it went all right. Good. Um, we'll take a quick look at the calendar. Uh, we've got hilly stage, hilly stage, and a mountain one for the first UCI challenges of the season. All right, something I'd sort of covered in uh, the uh, first impressions video, but I hadn't gone that much in depth, was the training, and it genuinely really changed a lot. Um, I just let my trainer uh, suggest the training. I don't really care if I'm being honest about it. Um, but yeah, okay, it's good to know that uh, you can have just your trainer do your training and you don't have to lose 55 years making it just like you would in career mode. And our first ever race begins. Uh, we are a teammate today. We need to work for what, 20 kilometers at the front of the group? Perfect, I'll do that very shortly and uh, I can't wait to lose the stage. Good to see that um, the games change but my luck doesn't. First ever race and we've already crashed. Uh, the good thing is we have not withdrawn from the race, so we are still within a chance at finishing 66 out of 66 today. Tell you what, for our first ever race, we're going to finish with the main peloton. It's going to be a top 15 finish, at least for us. Uh, the win for uh, Urko Berare. But yeah, it was a breakaway um, for, uh, for the win. So I finished with the best riders of the bunch. I'd happily take that. Um, We'll, uh, we'll launch a sprint, 64 sprint, I could maybe even dream of a top 5. Uh, a top 5 in my first race is not something I had uh, expected, nor did I uh, anticipate such a result. But fuck it, I'll take it. Um, win for Berade, that's for sure. When do I launch with my wheel? Johannesen is in my wheel with uh, Tiza, they're by far better than I am. And uh, they can last longer. Pause. Yeah, we're done. All right, good. A uh, top 15 finish at least for us. Minus two today. Once again, we'll work at the front of the group and uh, maybe get a top 20. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not a top 20. It's going to be 25 for us. 24. We'll make it up in the next one. I swear, a top 20 is on the cards. Day three, they want me to work 15 kilometers at the front of the group. Uh, I'm not. This one, we're going in the breakaway. Uh, I want to spend my first few minutes in the break and also it allows me to get uh, to get points to progress as a rider, um, so yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in the breakaway today. It's a mountain stage, apparently. Uh, if you can classify that as a mountain, we're in Nice uh, with a triple ascension of the Col d'Aise. So yeah, let's enjoy the breakaway, get some points, and maybe if the breakaway were to be winning, like it was in the first and second stages, fight for the dub. I'm a bit disappointed I was in the breakaway. We were doing good. We had like a two minute lead, and they stopped pacing. Um, so now it's. Everyone all back together, 19 kilometers remaining. I do have some energy though, so I'll have to see what I do. I'll try, if there's no attacks, I can try and fight maybe for a bit of a, of a mass-ish sprint. That could be quite interesting. Could be very interesting. Attack of two riders up front, uh, Skivid and uh, Hector Carretero. We're in the main peloton here alongside the riders of Uno X. Seven kilometers remaining, we'll go 83 to that, don't destroy my red bar. Make that five kilometers left. We won't be fighting for the win. I don't think we'll catch the breakaway. Uh, although, as a matter of fact, Uno X with a massive rhythm. I'm, I forgot I was playing times two and that I was recording. Uh, even though I'm literally speaking over what I'm doing, which is absolutely dumb. Uh, we'll try and take the wheel of Prades, although he's a very fast lad. Maybe Anton Charmich, if um, if possible. But yeah, the win is going to be for uh, the two riders at the front. Gashinyar has stopped. I'll launch early. Um, it's not going to be P3 for us, although it was on a good way to win for Skivild ahead of Hector Carretero. It is P3 for us. Fuck's sake, without this, we would have won. And I reckon we'll spend our first upgrade 
on stage races, also this is new evolution of potential, uh, I can't do it because I haven't worked enough on a certain specialization. And we'll spend our second upgrade point uh, still on stage races. Yeah, that looks good to me. Also, so stage race increases the mountain and the medium mountain stats, uh, the time trial as well. The hills is being left alone. Oh, so I can't go as sprinter. Oh, that's interesting. You can't upgrade whatever you want, just like you usually would have back in the days. Okay, cool. Um, skill points, they have not changed. Um, we'll go, um, I don't know, technique. And uh, we'll go still technique. Starting our first ever stage race and uh, race in a professional peloton, uh, we have uh, the Etoile de Bessege. Minus three to kick off the race. I would have wanted to be in the breakaway to try and get a KOM. Um, but with a minus three, now I'll still do it. All right, this slam is literally the only reason as to why I've gone in this breakaway. Let's try to uh, defeat Kevin Vaucla is in the breakaway with us. Ah, I see. Well, we still got the co points. Ketin will be wearing polka tonight and uh, in tomorrow's stage. I mean, I've, I've ended up in a situation where I lead with uh, 13 seconds over the peloton, 5k to go. We're gonna get caught, uh, but at least this was fun. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy the breakaway. Uh, maybe I'll get um, the um, what's it called? combative. I don't think that's translated. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll get the combative award, even though it doesn't exist. PCM should implement that. It's not a new feature. You should you should be able to like vote for combative award. That'd be nice. I, it would be extremely unfair because you don't always vote for your rider. But that'd be cool. Uh, we're in the hill, and uh, shockingly, we're gonna get co up. Ah, uh, Jean Louis man, shut up, yeah. I'm not about to help you. I don't even know where you are. I have no energy, and I'll finish ahead of you. Well, they want me to do whatever the fuck I want, and what I want is to keep that blue jersey. Of ours, well, it's physically impossible to go in the breakaway uh, because Uno X, Yombo, and Lot of uh, Destiny are literally blocking everyone from attacking. I've seen uh, nicest decisions from these guys. Like, if you do it on the Tour de France, that, that's sure, that's fine. It, it impose your rhythm. On the second stage of the Etoile de Bessege, nah. I feel like that's just wasted energy. I don't know if it's because of the wind or something else, but. The peloton has been literally impossible to manage with. They keep attacking or pacing or doing anything random. Uh, this is the only time I've been able to take the lead of the peloton without being attacked. Uh, and I think I should be good enough to take the points. All right, uh, let's add 16 points. How is that a first cat? I don't know, uh, but I'll take 15 points. I I've managed to take the wheel of the only rider in my team that's fighting for the sprint, uh, meaning I've just completely lost everything. Hopefully no gaps, and uh, hopefully we can finish with the first group. I managed to get some more points at the first cat, not enough to be first, I think I got second. Um, but yeah, today was not the greatest of day for us, hopefully we can finish with everyone. Another day, another carte blanche for us, and I think I'll try to get the points at the uh, Col des Brousse. And then I'll most likely come back in the peloton uh, just to see what, um, what happens, and maybe try to fight for a potential win at the end. I'm not so sure whether we'll be able to do so or not. Uh, but I have a teammate up the road and not anymore because Michael Cherel felt like chasing us. Right, turns out I stayed in breakaway, uh, but something has changed in um, this tab. You used to be able to see uh, every stage. As long as you had began one, you can't anymore. So you can't see the profile uh, of the races ahead. I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely dislike that because it was good, you could maybe improvise some strategies, be like, okay, shit, this is the only stage where I can make gaps. I'm gonna try my hardest on this stage. Uh, now you can't, now you have to genuinely know the parkour of wherever you're going. And I'm not a big fan of it. Final three kilometers, uh, we're most likely gonna get dropped before the end of the sprint. I have no energy and um, yeah, things aren't going my way. But uh, it's, it's okay, it's fine. Maybe I can hold on. I don't know how, but maybe I can hold on. The win today is not for someone of my team, it's for Max Aro ahead of Frederick Versnes and Thomas Buda. Uh, we are going to finish. Tell you what, we're at the cut, but we may just make it. I hope. Right, they want me to work at the head of the group for 20 kilometers. Uh, this may be the queen stage, I'm not sure, between uh, Saint Christophe and Mont Bouquet. We do have a good day nonetheless though, uh, so in case of um, some issues for my teammates, I think the leader is uh, André Mifsud. Maybe we can play our card, I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't think we'll play our card today. Um, despite the plus two, Andrea is looking a lot better than us, and uh, we're just gonna have to go for him. I will try and uh, maybe help him if I can. 40 seconds for a break. Uh, we're just chilling behind. We're gonna retain our mountain jersey, and that's what matters today. Something else also has changed. Uh, you can see the progression in the general classification of some of the riders. Uh, for example, Mathieu Bergodeau, you can see he's gained 94 positions. Uh, you can see that I gained 36. Um, so, I, I mean, that's that's quite nice. It doesn't really serve a purpose, but it's quite cool. Um, the other thing is uh, you you can't see your uh, your fitness anymore when it comes to... Uh, you can see my potential, uh, but you can't see the, the fitness I have ahead of the time trial. So I can't tell you if I have a plus 5 or if I have a minus 3. I don't say that it's a good day. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's probably a plus 1 or a plus 2. Uh, yeah, plus 1. Okay, well, it's Alice de Vintage. It's a time trial I know very well because it's been the same for about 50 fucking years. I reckon a solid 85 rhythm until the climb, and then you pace 90-92, and then you lose to Filippo Ghana. It's usually how it works. Then again, Ghana is not here today. We're P8 at the intermediate. Uh, let's go into the uh, climb portion. Michael Gogol currently leads for uh, AGC. Is that Alpesin? I'm gonna, yeah, it is Alpes in the Dukenang. For a second, I thought it was like Alpes in Devo or something, uh, but it isn't. Cross the line for us. Virtual P4. I'll take that. And we managed to finish P9, uh, which is fun. Uh, GC wise, 28, no one cares. Uh, but we're the best climber. And now, uh, as Pogus. Tour des Alpes Maritimes du Var, stage between Le Canet and Grasse, three days and uh, three chances to win. Hold up, let me check. Ha! <laughs> nope. Because Tale Fugachar is there. We are not winning. I was in the breakaway. I helped my teammate as much as I could. And uh, now I am done. Let's uh, go 30. And chill for the remainder of the race. And hopefully my teammate can go to the end. 20 kilometers. Gap of 1 minute 30 though. I'm not exactly confident. Knowing that uh, there is a certain Slovenian pacing behind him. Spoiler alert. Tade won. Ahead of Tra uh, Tarame and uh, Dominic Capozzoliva. We are finishing, what, 15 minutes? God, where the fuck are we? Oh, God. 13.48. Good. It's our first ever plus five in our career, and uh, we're trying to go in the breakaway. I didn't want to go uh, aerodynamic position. That's way too early. I wanted to sneak so I can um, make my way through the peloton and attack. But yeah, plus five today. We've got the Coldes. We finished P3 the last time we were at the Coldes, it was on a, one of the earliest stages of our, our career. Tonight, we are winning. I don't know what I said tonight, it's clearly like, what, maybe 12pm, maybe maybe 1pm? Clearly, it's, it's not night. Plus 5 or not, uh, this stage is not easy for us in the breakaway. Uh, we are here with Kenya Lisson, Simon Guillem, Yalis Charan. And Rivanda Nabala and uh, a guy called Jega from uh, the uh, CICU Nantes Atlantic. Uh, but yeah, I've tried to get some points at the uh, Côte de Levance and I failed miserably. I'm gonna try and get points at the Col Saint Roch, which hopefully I should be able to do so. No, I'm gonna lose to Ken No, I'm not gonna lose to Kenya uh, It's P1 for us here. I'm not sure how many points that is. That's 16. That's 10 points. Don't think that puts us anywhere near the uh, top of the leaderboard for the month's best finish. Back to back for today. Uh, we're gonna finish quite far behind, uh, possibly P25, top 31. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do against Tyler Pogacar, let's be completely honest. I wanted to be in the breakaway, but the minus one uh, doesn't really give me a lot of, um, of strength and of uh, trust in my abilities. We'll try nonetheless. I think we're two points off the mountain leader. We're four. Well, six points off, sorry, maps aren't uh, still my forte. Eh? Okay, well, I mean, if we win at the Col du Corps de Garde, uh, we could have some... Wait, Tade didn't get points? Hold up. Something ain't right. There were no points given at the Col des. That's just ridiculous. Uh, but, okay, cool. Uh, we're four points... Uh, uh, we're six points off... If Kenimoli doesn't go in the breakaway and I'm crossing the line P1 at the Col du Corps de Garde, it'll be a back to back mountain jerseys for us. Update I did not manage to make the breakaway. Uh, I'll try and keep energy, but I, I think I'm gonna get dropped. The lack of secondaries is absolutely killing me. 
Uh, yeah, so Tade won all three stages. We didn't make anything mountain-wise. Uh, it's a shame. It's but this is where we're going to wrap up the first episode. I think I'm going to try and keep these between 15 and 20 minutes long. Uh, I, I don't want them to be too difficult uh, or too long to watch. And also just for me, the fact that I'm recording them definitely out of my schedule uh, is completely something I didn't have the time to. Uh, so I'm going to try and smash some of them quite quickly. Uh, especially I want these to be daily or near daily. But yeah, this is going to be the end of this first episode. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've last done some pro cyclists, so I'm a bit rusty with what I've do. Uh, also, it's been a while since I've last had a rider this shit. So I'm still quite rusty, but we've got, what, one podium? That's all right. Uh, oh, wait, hold so. Oh, no, achievements have gone here. Sorry. Sorry, I, I was looking at, like, the, the victories and thing tabs, but it's it's gone here. Okay, um, forget what I said. End of the first episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have and want to see more of this content, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as I said, probably only one season until the World TV gets released for our proper career mode. Uh, but I figured I could not leave you without any content. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to see more of this content going forward, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the very, very near future for some more Pro Cyclist and some more PCM 2023. Have a great day. My name is Guillaume. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass it me the go. funk, we're getting drunk in here and what comes next.